<laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god! Once they get over the initial shock, the orchestra members start to snicker. Hug glances at the percussionist, who nods even though he's clearly on the verge of cracking up himself. <laughs> he looks so proud of himself. Aww. Great job. Just keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> no, duh. <laughs> I finally managed to produce a sound that isn't a wordless splutter. <laughs> what the heck did you do to How? He sounds like a valley girl. Relax, relax. How's just joking around? He wants to have some fun sometimes, too, you know? Isn't that right, How? You go, girl. The snickering swells into full-fledged laughter. <laughs> some people are even falling out of their chairs. <laughs> That's so mean, though. <laughs> Poor How. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> For an instant, I see a crack of uncertainty in How's normal, imperious expression. He's suddenly unsure if what he's been taught is proper English or not. Yeah, I'd feel uncertain too. That's so mean. God damn. It disappears before I can decide whether I've imagined it or not, replaced by another overly broad smile. As the orchestra begins to play, House smile quickly fades. He starts frowning as it becomes obvious that people didn't practice as much as he told them to. <laughs> After one particularly horrendous passage, Kowski taps his baton against the podium to everyone get everyone's attention. Out of the corner of my eye, I see the I see the percussionist shaking with laughter. This is gonna be good. Oh God, what did you teach him? Chillax, chillax, chillax. God damn it. <laughs> chillax. You fucking asshole. I feel so bad for him. What the fuck? Probably wondering why no one is responding. He how draws four circles in the air. Chillax, 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 chillax. He doesn't understand. You taught him bullshit. Blah, 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 blah. Everyone breaks up laughing. Confused, how tries to word several more times. Probably unsure if he's pronouncing it correctly. Every time he repeats it, he's more and more uncertain. Every time the laughter grows louder and more uncontrollable. Did you guys really tell him that chillax means practice? That's genius. No, it's cruel and mean. Yeah, we can chillax five hours a day, no problem. <laughs> God damn it. Puahaha. I think I'm gonna die laughing. Just look at his face. He has no idea what's going on. That's so mean. God damn it. He probably thinks he's saying the word wrong or something. <laughs> Watch, he's going to do it again. How's eyes dart agitatedly from one person to the next. Though he might not understand their words, he can definitely understand the derisive sounds of their sniggers and jeers. I raise my voice over the crowd. Oh, ha ha, very funny and clever. Not, so shut up. Hey, lighten up, it's just a joke. It's not like he can understand what we're saying anyway. I don't care if how I understands or not. I'm getting a headache from all your donkey braying. How How's gaze flits to me, then to the people who were hanging out with him earlier. The same people who are laughing the hardest at him now. The uncertainty on his face evaporates at last, leaving only hard bitterness in its place. You motherfuckers tricked me. Everyone jumps as House slams his hands into the podium. Seriously, of course he's gonna be fucking pissed. You taught him bullshit. He hits it so hard that the picture of him and my father crashes to the floor. That sharp clatter along with the jarring slam from before echo through the now silent room. Face tight with anger, How bends down, picks up the picture frame, and carefully dusts it off. By the time he returns the picture to its usual spot, he's also resumed his usual scowl. The capo al fine! Everyone groans as How holds up the score and jabs his finger at the beginning of the song. Ignoring the lack of enthusiasm, how signals for the orchestra to resume playing. Eh, it was good while it lasted. Who'd have thought how it could be so much fun for once? Tch. Before I can stop myself, I'm storming over and slamming one of the percussionist cymbals over his head. He yelps and gives me a dirty look, but at least he stays quiet for now. After practice, I find myself walking over to how. He doesn't look up as I approach, just continues to pour over the music in the book in his hands. Uh, how are you? I 
Again, I trail off, still at a loss as to how I should complete my question. Talking about feelings isn't really my forte in any language. The awkward silence lasts until Hal finally sighs and puts down his book. Sona, a tempo. A tempo. Return to playing at your original speed. Maybe that's Hal's way of telling me to back off and let things return to normal. A tempo. Yanshi. Now he's talking about Lanshi again. Though in my case, it's probably more like going home and reviewing song selections. Either how doesn't know how to either how doesn't know how else to describe it, or that's just his automatic response to everything. Maybe both. Repeating his command for a third and final time, Hal points insistently at the door. Fine. Yeah, I'm going. Saijian Hao. If you don't want me around, then I don't want to be around either. Shoving my hands in my pockets, I saunter out as indifferently as I can. When I sneak a glance over my shoulder, Hal has buried himself in his books once more. Whatever. I don't know why I care about you so much anyway. Forcing myself to look away, I keep on walking. I probably would have sat with him and taught him the proper English words. Feel like they're bullshitting you. Yeah. By the time I reach my apartment, I don't want to do anything besides sleep. Ugh. I've still got all these songs to look over. I was going to throw a fit if I don't get this done before the next practice. Save and return. Okay. I want to go back to the practice room. Yeah, I'll pull off the songs tomorrow. But I don't feel like sleeping anymore either. Pivoting around, I start walking back the way I came. The practice room is still unlocked when I return. As I'm about to go back in, I find myself hesitating. Why am I doing this? How's the one who told me to leave? He obviously wants to be alone, so I don't have any reason to be here at all. Meh, whatever. I'll go wherever I feel like going. If Howe's pissed at me for coming back, that's his problem. I give both my doubts and the door a hard shove. As I enter the room, my gaze automatically goes to the desk in the corner. How is hunched over some books, studiously ignoring me. He really does work all night, doesn't he? Rolling my eyes, I stalk over. Jeez, don't you ever stop. My words die in my throat once I realized how isn't working. Though he's still sitting upright, how is actually fast asleep. With each quiet breath, stands from his normally neat hair slut. With each quiet breath, strands from his normally neat hair slide down further slide further down his forehead. His suit and tie, which are hanging off the back of his chair, pull onto the floor in a messy heap. It's once I noticed his mussed-up hair and clothes that I know how I must really be sleeping. There's no way he would let me see him in the state otherwise. Guess he wasn't ignoring me after all. As I gaze at how sleeping face it strikes me again. How very young he looks when he isn't armored with a scowl. How very vulnerable he seems when stripped of all his defenses. I don't think I've ever seen him without his glasses before. Looking down, I see Hal's glasses lying on a messy heap of papers, and do a double take when I realize what those papers are. Newspapers, sports magazines, fashion catalogs, gaming advertisements, all the popular trendy things people our age would be expected to know. Each page is covered with lines and lines of meticulous notes and red pen. I even see some papers filled with random slang words, most of which are followed by question marks. Is how studying these just so he can fit in better? Yeah, he's trying to learn English. Although there are better ways to go about it, but yeah. They're books! I didn't realize he cared so much about what other people thought. Noticing how's earphones, I follow the wires to a music player in his lap. I can't read the Chinese titles on the screen, though. I wonder what he's been listening to. I carefully take one of the earbuds for myself. The soaring chorus of Somewhere from West Side Story instantly fills my ear. As I press the next button over and over again, I hear songs from musical theater, Latin jazz, R&B, even a few punk and hip-hop hits. And I thought how I wasn't willing to try other music genres at all. Yawn.